Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing another awesome math video. This one on uh, graphing a quadratic in vertex form. Um, so in this video, basically I'm going to take you through using the mapping rule in order to uh, graph a quadratic in ver vertex form. So if you're not familiar with vertex form, here it is. Um, y is equal to a x minus h squared plus k. Some textbooks and the one that we use in our classes is instead of h and k, you have p and q. And then this is the mapping rule. Sometimes this is used, sometimes it isn't. Um, but I like the mapping rule because it applies to a lot of different things. And you can use it in a lot of different areas, and you can use it to graph any function. So x, y goes to x plus h, a, y plus k. So I'll explain how to use this now in a second. So the best thing way to uh, get this is just through an example. So here's an example. It says graph. Um, actually, we'll do this one first, and we'll go back to that one. Um, so this is a uh, graph y is equal to 2 x minus 1 squared plus 3. So what I like to do is, is my, for my students to list out all the uh, parameters of this equation. So we have a is equal to 2, and we have h is equal to. So one important thing to remember is that if you look in this formula, if you go back to the first page, it says x minus h. So that means that my h value in this case is 1, because we already have the minus there, so it's already... It's just one. The way some of my students remember it is if they think of this as negative one, then they'll just take the opposite of that value. You can do what you want, but um, if the minus is already there, then you just take the number that's there, one. That makes my k value plus three. I'm just going to take down the size of this marker a little bit. It's a bit big. All right, so, um, so now from this, I can write my mapping rule. So my mapping rule looks like this. X, Y goes to and so it's if you remember my map rule is x plus h plus one and then a y so two y plus three so um, we're graphing of course a quadratic well the base table for a quadratic and the one that my students use is pretty straightforward it's negative two negative 1, that's horrible, 0, 1, 2, negative 1, and then these y values, this is, remember, this is just for y is equal to x squared, so that's the base function, and so we're just going to square each of these, so 4, 1, 0, 1, 4, and what our mapping rule is going to do, it's going to transform this table into something that we can graph. So all we're going to do is we're going to just follow the map rule, which is basically a set of instructions used to map here. So I'm going to add 1 to the x's, so I'm just going to take 1 and add it to each of these. So x plus negative 2 plus 1, negative 1, negative 1 plus 1, 0, so you get the pattern. Negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, so I add it 1 to these. And then I'm going to take my y values, I'm going to multiply them by 2 and then add 3. So I got 2 times y is 2 times 4 is 8, plus 3 is 11. Um, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5. 0 times 2 plus 3 is 3. And then 1 times 2 is 5 again, and then it repeats. So if you look at this middle point right here, that's my vertex. So this guy right here, that's my vertex. And so now we can go ahead and plot this bad boy. So these points here will be off my graph, but um, we'll manage that when we get there. So 1, 3. Um, that's usually I start with my vertex. And then I'm going to go out here a little bit, 0, 5. And then I'll go 2, 5. And then 3, 11. So I'll just put a dot up right here. And then negative 1. 11, so dot a little bit above there. And now I'll just go ahead and try to draw my quadratic. Of course, it's really hard to do with the little pen tablet I have here. Try to keep your hand steady. There it is. There's my quadratic. So that's what I love about the mapping rule. It's the same for every single function. And, um, you know, you might add another variable here, a b value, when you get into some higher level functions, but for the most part, it's pretty much just like this. 
All right, let's try this one. So the only reason I wanted to try this one last is because it has a negative here, so you can see what happens. So I listed my A values. So A, this time, negative 1. Switch my pen back again now. So yeah, I got my A to be negative 1. My H, so we got to be careful again. Now it's plus 1, remember. In my general equation, it's H minus, like that, or minus H. So in order to make this positive, I would have to put a negative number in here. So in order to make this plus 1, I'd have to put subtract negative 1. So my H value would have to be negative 1. So again, my students think of it as plus 1. That's the opposite for h. And then k is equal to minus 2. Alright, so now we go ahead and we write our math rule. So xy goes to x minus 1 negative y minus 2 so there's my a value right there, my negative. So don't forget about the negative 1, my h, and my k. So now we'll write our base table. Stays the same for every single quadratic. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. And then 4, 1, 0, 1, 4. That's a 4. And then I'll write my map and rule in my new table. x minus 1 negative y subtract 2 so I'm gonna again I'm subtracting 1 from each of these values so subtracting 1 from negative 2 so negative 3 negative 2 negative 1 0 1 and then I'll put my values in so negative times 4 so negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6 1 subtract, negative 1 subtract 2 is negative 3, 0 subtract is negative 2, then it repeats. So after you get after you do the, a couple of these guys, you get the patterns and you start to see, you get more familiar with it. So again, this is my vertex right here, my middle one. I usually put that first, so negative 1, negative 2. Then I have... Um, I'll go 0, negative 3, and then negative 2, negative 3, and then negative 3, negative 6, and then 1, negative 6. Draw my quadratic, and try to keep it as smooth as possible. Remember, it's supposed to be U-shaped, not a V-shaped. So guys, there it is. That's how you graph your quadratic uh, using a map rule. So I hope this video helped, and I'll see you guys in school. Thank you very much for watching.